Hey guys, Steve here from Next Gen AI, and in today's video, I'm going to show you five little known SEO keyword research tools that you can start off with for free. So let's check them out. So the first one I'm showing you is AnswerSocrates.com, and this is a great tool simply for finding lots of questions around trending topics. As you can see, I've got the country set to the United States, and it's already given me um, relevant, up-to-date topics that people are actually talking about right now. So this is really useful for that. But also if you sign up for the free plan, you get some keywords and you get some clusters to start you off with as well. So inside um, the topic, let's just put a uh, paddle and we're searching for the United States and let's see what answer Socrates comes up with. We have questions, they have answers is their, um, their tagline. So it's just searching for those down. And um, I've been really impressed with this so far. It actually comes up with a lot of different ideas and related keywords, etc. So let's let Answer Socrates do its thing. Okay, so we've got people also ask, so different types of questions here. And then we have absolutely loads and loads and loads of different ideas to go through here, okay? And this is simply questions. So we've got R questions, can I questions, how questions, what questions, when questions, etc. Are paddle and pickleball the same? Can I play paddle with tennis balls? When paddle was invented, etc. There's absolutely loads to go through here. And this is only the questions. We've also got well, social media questions, prepositions, we've got comparisons, we've got in the past, letters, queries, I mean, you've got so much to be getting on with there. And considering that this is, I mean, it has a free plan, um, this is really awesome, okay? And you can also do keyword clusters with this too. And I say it also um, has trending topics and you can, oops, um, you wanna search for United States or United Kingdom or wherever you're from, okay? So that's uh, answersocrates.com. I'll leave the link below for it in the description. A really great tool and uh, yeah, hopefully you find that as useful as I did. Uh, the second tool I want to go through is perplexity.ai. Guys, I've been banging the drum about perplexity for so long. It's a AI powered search engine that is really gonna bite into Google's market share. And I use it for absolutely everything. And one of the reasons I really, really like it is the fact that um, you can also have access to all the different models on here, okay? Inside one subscription. So you've got Claude, you've got ChatGPT, you've got uh, Grok, you've got Llama, even you have the image generation models as well, Dali, Flux, etc. Okay, now you can get really good uh, results from the free plan as well. You don't even need to sign up to actually use it. So it's really, really great. So I've simply done a, um, a question here to perplexity. Generate a list of the top keywords related to web hosting. Make sure to include terms that are frequently searched for and relevant to the main keyword. And it actually brought me up a list of high volume, long term specific keywords, branded keywords, niche keywords, also with the search amounts, all right? And I wanted to expand on this a little bit. So I say, let's expand the list of long tail keywords by giving me a detailed and comprehensive list, search for specific terms that users might search for when looking for this information on this topic, okay? And it's actually giving me um, different kind of sections for long tail keywords for web hosting, general web hosting queries, specific types of hosting, niche hosting needs, free hosting options, location specific hosting, technical, e-commerce, customer support, etc. So it's giving me loads and loads of ideas. I could go back and ask Perplexity to see if there's information regarding the search volumes and things like that. Are they evergreen keywords? Do they dip? You know, are they constantly searched for? But you can see how easy it is to get keywords for a specific niche inside Perplexity. And given that, you know, it also has a free plan you don't even need to sign up for, um, it's a complete no-brainer to start using it. And I use it for pretty much every workflow I do because it is the best AI tool out there, in my opinion. All right, so that's number two, perplexity.ai. If you do decide to sign up for the pro plan, don't pay full price like I did, okay? Get it for 50% off, get it for half price by using my link below, okay? Awesome. And that way you can cancel your subscriptions to ChatGPT and to Claude and to all the others because you've got access to all the models inside Perplexity. Third tool I'm gonna to show you today, Topic Mojo. All right, you have a bunch of different tools in here to use, okay? Things like social models, search listener, uh, humanizer for writing, etc. But We've also got the uh, what's called Topic Model, okay? So inside Topic Model, um, it'll find you loads and loads of different ideas or content ideas. So I'm gonna go here and I type in, I don't know, say dog treats, oops. And search in the United States and set it to English. So let's click on search and let's see what Topic Mojo comes up with. I did have to log into this by the way, but again, this has been free for me. And what it's gonna do is gonna generate a report right now on my keyword and uh, hopefully it'll have some really good results in there, fingers crossed. 
Okay, so that took a few seconds. We've got over 1500 ideas in here. So let's view this report. And you can see it's opening up now on my screen. Considering this is all free, it's amazing. Okay, so the, it's finished. Uh, to view the trends and the search volumes here, uh, the specific search volumes, you will have to upgrade to a paid plan, but you get so much information on the free plan, okay? We've got all these different phrases here, um, and we've got uh, um, what kind of keywords they are, the intent, uh, the type. We can also take a look at questions. We've got pages and pages of questions, 36 pages of questions. What dog treats are bad for dogs? What dog treats are not good for dogs, etc. Okay, uh, we've also got shopping related keywords. We've got comparisons. This is you know dog treats at home, dog treats at Petco, Amazon, etc. Research and also local keywords. So we can quite easily export these as a CSV um, to our Google Sheets and then tidy them up and then start targeting these keywords with content. You can also do that as well on um, Socrates. I forgot to mention that. Really, really helpful and useful. Again, um, if you want the specific data that you do have to, have to upgrade, I think there is a lifetime deal on Topic Mojo at the moment, um, but you have to search for that. Okay, so that's Topic Mojo. Really, really helpful. Uh, the next tool is Top Bubble Index. Okay, so Top Bubble Index has a lot of different tools on here. Okay, but they've recently added this keyword tools functionality here. Okay, and this is all completely for free right now. Got Google keywords, Amazon keywords. We've got things like Pinterest keywords. So this could be really good you know, if you um, you use another kind of social media. We've got a Pinterest site, etc. Let's take a uh, Google keyword tool just to see uh, what we've got here. And I've done a search for dog treats, and I actually done it for global. Probably should have said to USA or the UK or something like that. Um, but I just want to see exactly what you get on this free plan now. Also, there's a bunch of different kind of best practices and guidelines on how to use the tool. So considering this is free, um, they've put a lot of effort into this. And as we can see, we've got, again, a list of keywords, 62 pages worth, the, the intent. We've actually got all the search volumes here as well, which is amazing. Um, the competition level. Now, guys, this is a really competitive niche and like 100 or 100, it's red flag. Um, you know, you don't want to be uh, targeting that. But you've got the CPCs here as well, really helpful. So I'm very, very impressed that this is actually a free tool. I don't know how long this is going to be free for. We've also got things like broad match, uh, phrase match, exact match, related. We can even do the clusters. Is that free? Oh my God, wow. Okay, guys, free, free clusters. And you can download all the topics and put them into a CSV. This is really, really awesome. I don't know how long this is going to be free for guys surely they got to be charging for this um, but you can see again you've got all this all the different filters and things like that um, inside the free tool so top bubble index and um, five stars for this i'll have to use this more in depth uh, just to see i want to find out where they're getting the search volume from uh, where they're getting their figures from etc and i want to compare it to some of the top pay tools out there but i mean this is um this is really impressive okay and for the last one, um, it is a premium tool, but you can do some things for it for free. It's called KeywordTool.io, okay? Um, maybe not a secret tool, but uh, I thought I'd mention it as well because you can get some stuff from it uh, for free. You can also search via YouTube, Bing, Amazon, etc. Um, so let's type in dog treats here uh, just to see exactly how much we will get on the free plan. Bearing in mind, I have not even uh, logged in. My estates. Yep, so let's go ahead and use that. Okay, so it does have a seven day free trial, which is pretty good. So we do have the keywords. You can go ahead and copy and paste the keywords, but if you want all the specific information, like the search for and the trend, the CPC and the comp, etc., uh, you will have to sign up to the free trial. Um, but we've got um, over 650 keywords uh, there to choose from on this topic. I don't know how many, or 692. I don't know how many you get if you actually signed up to the free trial, but yeah, you've got the search volume here. Do we get the questions on the free? Yeah, we do. So the loads more there too, precision and also those as well. So yeah, again, um, you know, gives you all the keywords to to use, but um, if you want the search volume and things like that, you might want to plug these keywords into a different tool you already pay for, or, um, you know, start the seven free day free trial to find out all the information there. All right, so hopefully that's kind of uh, perked your curiosity. Uh, you can definitely do a lot with these free tools, Answer Socrates, Perplexity, Topic Mojo, Top of Limdex, I almost forgot about that then. How could I have forgotten about that? So, so good. And Keyword Tool. Io. Okay, so hopefully you found that uh, really, really interesting. Um, if you are into AI SEO and you want to get some all my prompts, all my best ticks and trips, ticks and 
tips and tricks lost my words there then sign up the next gen ai newsletter in the description below i give away all my prompts and secrets from all my past videos um, every single week one issue a week and hopefully it gives you a lot of value so do sign up for that now the last thing about this video okay hopefully you kind of um, you're excited about using these keyword tools and you've signed up to one of them and you've generated a list of c keyword tools which you now want to start targeting via seo via blogs etc to you know start bringing the traffic, earning that money and the ad money, earning that affiliate commissions, etc. Okay. What is the best way to do that? Well, I use a AI automated AI SEO writer called Journalist AI, tryjournalist.com. Okay. It's an AI SEO writer that auto blogs, but it also adds everything like does all the formatting for you, adds the images, adds uh, relevant videos, adds relevant external internal links. That's awesome. Massive time saver table of contents, etc., and it does so much underneath the hood and there's a lot of customization options there as well, all right? It's a great, great platform. And right now, if you sign up, just put in your email, no credit card required. You get three free articles straight off the bat so you can test it out, all right? And if you do sign up through my link below, if you in the future decide that it's for you and you wanna continue using it, then you're gonna get a discount. Make sure to use my discount code in the link below, okay? Now this is inside Journalist AI. You can produce SEO articles, news articles, Amazon articles, YouTube, to blog posts, etc. But let's click on SEO article. So you, let's just say you were using, I know, Answer Socrates, you've got your CSV of keywords you wanna start targeting. What you can do is you can quite simply add each article via title here one by one or just simply upload the Excel file, upload the CSV file to a journalist and it'll batch generate the content for you. And then you can drip feed it to your website or to your blog using the auto blogging feature. And it'll take care of everything, the formatting, the images, the YouTube videos, the internal and external linking. It's really, really great. This is an example of a piece of content for a bread keyword. Gives you the table of contents, all the H3s, H2s, H1s, etc. YouTube videos, um, and even got external links here. For example, if I wanted to change this and edit it, we've got an AI SEO editor right here. I can rewrite this paragraph, however which way I want, make it into a list, make it into a table, can add more keywords, we can even add external or internal links here. Um, I'm gonna add an external link here. Guys, this is a massive time saver to go out there and research websites that you can use links from. Bang, bang, boom. Really, really awesome, okay? And that is how easy it is. Even as a conclusion and frequently asked questions. Brilliant. All right. So that is how you are going to build your SEO empire or your blog or your niche website empire coming into uh, the last month of uh, 2024 and moving into 2025. So that's five secret AI SEO keyword research tools that you want to start using and also journalist AI to create the content for the keywords you now have. All right. So once again, my name is Steve. This has been my video for Next Gen AI and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much.